What is going on guys? JD back with another gameplay commentary and this one is very special to me. Reason being that it's very special to me is because of the individual that you're going to be seeing running in front of me in a couple of seconds. There he is folks. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look at him. Brown jacket, red beret that you can notice halfway across the fucking map. Anytime you see that red beret coming at you, you know you, you, you know you're in some fucking trouble. And that's the one and only Mr. Soldier, 1HD. He's back on the PlayStation 4. He's back with his PSN family. And Mr. Soldier, you know, he originally had the PlayStation 4. You know, he realized that he didn't like it too much, and you know, he invested the money in it. He wants to like it. So he sold it for a little bit more than what he bought it for. He bought the Xbox One, and then he realized the Xbox One just was not doing the job for him. And then after the whole Titanfall beta, he realized, listen, you know what? Titanfall is not for me. I'm going to sell this and I'm going to go get the PlayStation 4 because everyone is on the PlayStation 4. So it's good to have my buddy back on the PlayStation 4 on Call of Duty Ghosts and we can just beast every night we want to. And look at this. One guy I kill. This guy's creeping around. This guy's taken out. And I'm, I'm thinking everything's all right. But this guy in the corner, look at this guy. He's over there hijacking the vending machine and, you know, $6 to play a fucking tune. Jesus Christ. He's over there fucking... Put money in the jukebox. I don't know what the fuck he's listening to. Justin Bieber, Kelly Clarkson. I don't fucking know. He looks like a fucking flaming homosexual anyway. But that's Call of Duty Ghost in a nutshell, folks. Someone camping in a corner with a suppressed weapon with off the grid. And uh, nobody playing the objective until confirmed. What else is new? But I figured I'd sit down with you guys. Uh, you know, just a nice chill commentary tonight. A few things I want to talk about. You know, this winter has been absolutely brutal. You know, I'm, I'm just glad to see the winter slowly coming to an end you know there's things that we have to look forward to with the nicer weather a lot of things coming up you know you know the winter has been like i said brutal snow on top of snow on top of snow and it, it just seems to not want to end and new york city gets battered with fucking snow it, it came to a point where you know i hopped in my car for the very first time in about a month and a half because of all the snow and the ice that was just in the streets and on top of my car and I'm you know I got him and look at this motherfucker before I get into that this guy is camping the kitchen as if he's wings of redemption hovering above a plate of buffalo wings look at this faggot you ain't fucking eating those wings motherfucker JD's coming for them he's hungry like fucking wings of redemption look at this guy anyway like I said I you know I stepped into my car for the first time in about a month and a half you know snow and ice and I drive a Mustang, you know, I don't drive in the ice, I don't drive in the snow because my car can't handle it. So what I did is I let the snow melt, whenever it melts, it melts and then that's when I'll get into my car. Obviously, you know, not moving my car for a month and a half is not good, but uh, you know, I uh, you know turned it on, gave it some juice here and there, but all in all, I'm not driving in the snow because I had one bad experience when I was living in New Jersey in the snow. I slipped on some black ice driving my Mustang right down the road and I crashed into a fucking boulder that was conveniently laying in front of my apartment. I just lost control of the brakes and I slid and I fucked up the bumper and uh, from that instance, you know, I'm very, very careful with my car, you know, especially when the when the bad weather comes out in the snow and, you know, even in the rain I'm slipping all over the place. The Mustang is just not a good vehicle for those types of weather situations. But uh, it was nice to sit in my car finally after a month and a half playing my music, blasting it. You know, I went to go see my grandma a couple times, so it's nice to be back in my car. And then when the nicer weather comes, obviously I'm going to get the car reconditioned. I'm going to, you know, make it a little sexier. And then obviously take that motherfucker down to Atlantic City, New Jersey for the AC Beer Fest, the Beer Music Festival for the sixth year in a row I'm going there for the sixth time. Uh, it's just a great time. You know, if you guys are on the East Coast and you live in the New York, New Jersey area, it's one of those things that's just unbelievable. You know, beer and music... You got live music playing, you got your friends, you got large crowds, you got the excitement in the air, and you got all these different beers just waiting to be fucking tasted. It's unbelievable. Soldier came to a beer fest with me on my birthday. He had a great time, and this one is like the mecca of all beer fests. I, I can't wait. I got my tickets. Me and my girlfriend are going. I'm going to be staying with my buddy Sean. He lives in Brigantine, New Jersey, and we're just going to have a fun, a fun time just, you know, getting trashed, and we're going to hang out. We're going to listen to music. We're going to... You know, play some Call of Duty late in, the, late in the night when there's nothing to do. We're going to have some beers and just have fun. You know, I haven't seen him in about six months. Uh, he's been going through a rough patch, so hopefully, you know, we can get together and have a good time. But the, but the AC Beer and Music Festival is, 
one of my favorite things to do when the weather gets nice. I, I love it. I'm, I love beer. I love tasting new beers and, uh, you know, just driving down to New Jersey in my car with the windows down, the weather nice. You don't need no fucking jacket. You don't need no hoodie. You know, you're leaving all that winter shit behind. And uh, it's just a great time. And I can't wait to bring you guys some vlogs. I, I said this last year I was going to do some vlogs about it. But this year I'm really going to sit down and do some vlogs. I'm going to try and, uh, you know, capture all the fun and, and the magic that happens at these beer fests. And hopefully I can bring it to you guys when I'm down there. But um, all in all, like I said, I'm glad to see winter go. I'm glad to see February go. It's been a, you know, a fucking miserable February. Obviously, if you guys have been following me, my grandpa passed away on the 3rd of February. You know, Selena passed away right before the holidays. It's, it's just been a rough patch. And I know a lot of people that are going through the same thing with deaths in the family and just having a really bad winter. You know, I'm just personally glad to see February go for those reasons. I don't want to have to experience another February uh, like this in quite some time. But um, I'm glad to see it go. And there's things we have to look forward to. Like I said, for me personally, the Beer Fest, you got the MLB baseball season coming up. We got a huge month for gaming coming up. Metal Gear Solid Vibes coming out. I'm fucking shitting my pants for this game. I can't wait. But uh, I'm going to talk about all that in a second. But I just got my Hilo Pilot. And this one's going out to my buddy Soldier. I'm going to crank the fucking volume on the radio in this Hilo Pilot. And we're going to crush some noobs together. I'll be right back. that Hilo pilot probably could have been a little bit better you know maybe I shouldn't have been running that type of shriek on this map with all the buildings here but I know for a fact and don't bullshit me I can see right through the fucking computer screen you guys were rocking out to that shit I was rocking out soldier was rocking out you all were rocking out we all loved the Ninja Turtles we all had the action figures we watched the cartoon we watched the movies don't give me that shit I know and then look at this motherfucker look at this guy here He's in the kitchen looking for Wings of Redemption because he wants another round of chicken wings. Listen, buddy. Wings is standing in line for fucking his ninth dish of buffalo wings. He's standing in line at Buffalo Wild Wings, actually, right now, looking for some barbecue wings. Okay? He's not here. But like I said, guys, I'm excited to leave February and the winter months behind. Uh, it's going to be a great month for gaming. I mentioned Metal Gear 5. Uh, that's coming out this month. I am a huge fan of the Metal Gear series. I played every fucking one of them. Uh, multiple times. I'm a huge fan of, of uh, Hideo Kojima and his storytelling. Everything he does is just gold. It's brilliant. And uh, Metal Gear 5 is going to be absolutely breathtaking. Not only because it's Hideo Kojima, not only because it's Metal Gear 5, not only because it's on the PS4, it's just going to be probably the game of the year. And I can't wait for it. It's going to look absolutely breathtaking on the PS4. We got Titanfall on the Xbox One. Everyone's going to be on Titanfall because everybody's pretty much sick of Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, Ghosts will completely be dead on March 11th. I know I'm going to be doing some Titanfall stuff. I can't wait. It's going to be a nice breath of fresh air. Uh, and we're going to be seeing a lot of Titanfall on YouTube. So uh, learn to expect it uh, come March 11th and March, you know, after March 11th. And then obviously, guys, also Infamous Second Son. That's coming out for the PS4. That's going to be a great game. I played the first Infamous. I loved it. Did not play the second one, but I'm definitely going to check out the third one. Uh, it's going to be a great game for the PS4. But also, guys, before this commentary ends, I believe there's like 50 seconds left in this gameplay. Uh, we got Josh Olin, who used to work for Treyarch. He was the former community manager. He worked on World at War. He worked on uh, Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2. This guy was actually blocked this week by Infinity Ward, another casualty of Tina Palacios. Now, I don't know what he said. I don't know if he was giving his constructive criticism, but it really speaks to me, you know, that she blocked everyone, including me, that I know, okay? And now this guy, who is a former community manager, has absolutely nothing to do with Activision anymore. 
is blocked by Infinity Ward's Twitter, that which is pretty much run by Tina and a few other Activision employees, or Infinity Ward employees. It's unbelievable the lengths she goes to to block people. What you don't understand is your game is trash. We play it because there's nothing else to play. We play it to find out that the game is absolute garbage. When we find the wrongdoings about the game, we bring it to your attention, and then you block us because you can't handle constructive criticism. What you need to know is that the customer is always right, especially when it comes to Call of Duty. We know the game needs to be fixed, yet you don't want to listen to us. I don't understand it. I will never understand it. Hopefully Sledgehammer works out the kinks in Call of Duty. Hopefully Sledgehammer goes about things the right way when compared to Infinity Ward and Treyarch. And I'm not going to hold them accountable just yet. We don't know what they're going to be doing yet. I'm excited to see what Sledgehammer has to offer. And uh, it, it's going to be something different. Call of Duty is in the hands of new people. Maybe that's what it needs. Maybe it needs a shot of adrenaline. Hopefully Sledgehammer is those people. Hopefully Sledgehammer doesn't follow the same route that Tina and Infinity Ward have gone with Ghosts. But we'll see, you know, come November when their game is coming out. It's going to be exciting. We'll see what goes on. But guys, if you enjoyed this commentary, please leave your like. It really helps out my channel. If you enjoyed the commentary, like, favorite, share, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the commentary. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about Tina and Infinity Ward blocking Mr. Josh Olin from their Twitter. It's a nice conversation piece. But like I said, guys, if you enjoyed, leave your comments down below. And I will talk to you all very soon. JD and Soldier beasting for the very first time on Warhawk. It's going to be, it's the first time, but it's not going to be the last. I'll tell you that. I'll see you guys later.